Hello, this is Matthew with Technomicon Media, and this week on Technomicon.com, I'm reviewing Skyrim Dawnguard, which of course is the first uh, major expansion for Skyrim Elder Scrolls V. So I wanted to start with the um, the faction, the vampire faction in, in Dawnguard, which you can uh, side with pretty early on in the in the quest chain, and show you guys sort of some of the features with that. Here I'm showing uh, one of the new monster types, which is this sort of hellhound and um, this is the uh, the lair of the vampires and a cool thing about the the vampire faction which which I had never played before uh, in Skyrim even though you could become sided with them just by by gaining the uh, the sanguine disease so I thought I'd give them a shot this time around is is that each vampire sort of has tears of metamorphosis uh, going, ranging from sort of glowing eyes to, to, to glowing eyes plus spiked teeth and then this further mutated version that has sort of a bat muzzle nose features. And then of course uh, with with the vampire class uh, you can also become a vampire lord which I'll show right now. Uh, that's this metamorphosis that you learn pretty early on once you've sided with them. Uh, you get this new form, which is the Vampire Lord form, and um, with that comes a new uh, set of perks, and the perk tree for it is pretty cool. And then the way to learn sort of perks and improve the, you know, the Vampire class is to, is to drain life through blood magic. One, one thing I'll, I will say about the, the Vampire Lord uh, form is you can't go into first person. Uh, and play it that. You can only play it in third person, which I was sort of disappointed with, but oh well. So here I'm just showing off uh, the blood magic form, you know, which is tied to your right hand attack. And then of course you can you can tie things to your left hand attack, uh, like summoning minions and raising the undead, and, you know, various vampire -y sort of things, like uh, this bat swarm that you see around me is one of the perks that you can learn, which does AoE damage to people in range. So, uh, with Dawn Guard came a bunch of new crafted items, and the one one of the item types that I was really excited about because I play Archer a lot is uh, crafted arrows, which which had started off as a mod. I think they they might have just brought the mod in, and you know the the same types of items required to make the arrows I think were the same as in the mod. So now players can make any type of arrow, you know, ebony, daedric, dragon bone. And, in, and, and as far as Dragonbone goes, there's a new uh, tier of weapons uh, which are better than Daedric, and I'm showing them off right here. Uh, one thing I will say about the Dragonbone uh, weapon models is they seem a little simplified or just hurried through in some respects. As you go through the various types of weapons that the player can make, as the it seemed they followed this path of as items got stronger, they got more detailed and more ornate or, or more decorative. You could tell that the designers put a lot more time into, say, the Daedric item models versus, you know, the steel or the studded or the really, really low tier items. You know, it sort of reflected this, this, this level of detail. As things got stronger, they got more ornate, but they sort of went a different direction with the dragon bone. So in addition to the new tier of weapons that players can make, there's a there's a new type of weapon that players can can use, which are crossbows, and they use a different type of arrow, which is a bolt. And um, the crossbows, unfortunately, are not craftable, so you can't make, say, a Daedric version of a crossbow. Although there there are mods that that do, you know, include you know better versions of the crossbow because I believe in the in the expansion there's only two types of crossbows that players can find naturally which is a crossbow and I believe a dwarven and then of course enchanted versions of that so here's the actual dawn guard keep and um, you know you 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 actually reach the dawn guard keep pretty early on in the <clears throat> in the expansion you and then the the quest sort of branches from there in terms of if you want to stay with them or if you want to join the vampires and the the keeps exterior is pretty impressive it's very cool looking I will say this about the interior of the keep it it felt very uh, you know the population of the keep was really low and what I mean is that you went into this keep that should be housing dozens and dozens of soldiers and there are only like three people inside 
and I found that really odd and it was it was sort of jarring and once again this is Matthew for Technomicon Media for the full article on Skyrim Dawn Guard uh, visit our website at www.technomicon.com and once again thank you for watching